Okay, let's talk about the Virginia SOL geometry exam. And if you're watching this video, I assume you're a high school student in Virginia and you're preparing for this exam. And that's good because that's uh, showing that, you know, by you watching this video that you're taking this exam seriously and you want to take all these SOL exams seriously in Virginia. And uh, just in case you don't know what SOL stands for, it stands for Standards of Learning. And uh, probably at this age, I'm just going to take a guess that you're probably maybe in the 10th grade uh, in Virginia. So you should already be familiar with these SOL exams. Okay, so what we're going to do here is uh, kind of challenge um, you to a pop quiz uh, problem that you should definitely be able to solve if you're ready for this uh, Virginia SOL geometry exam. But before we get to that problem... Let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over um, several years I've constructed many online courses. I actually, online math courses, I actually have a Virginia SOL geometry uh, prep class. I'm going to leave the link to that in the description of this video. Extremely comprehensive, but uh, you can check that out if you like. And now let's go ahead and get to this problem. Okay, so you can see here I have some sort of figure, and this is a sketch of a quadrilateral. Okay, so we, this is a quadrilateral, I'll tell you that. And we have some degrees here. I have 80 degrees, 70 degrees here, 70 degrees here. Then I have an expression 2x. So what I'd like you to do is to solve for x. Okay, tell me the value of x there. And... Um, uh, even if you don't know how to solve this problem, okay, you should still pause the video and think about it. So I'm going to suggest all of you out there watching this video, just pause the video, you know, go ahead and try to do this in a minute or so. Obviously, I'm going to solve it, and then we'll wrap this thing up. Okay, so hopefully you got the uh, solution. And if you, you know, you're still struggling, don't worry about it. Let me go ahead and give you a clue, okay? Well, don't worry about it as in... Don't panic, okay? You still <laughs> need to go back and use uh, this as feedback to, you know, um, prepare for this exam. But the first thing is uh, we can't solve this problem unless we know something about quadrilaterals. And the main thing that we need to know about quadrilaterals is that the sum of the angles of any quadrilateral, okay, is going to be what? Well, it's going to always be 360 degrees, just like uh, any triangle, right? The sum of the angles of a uh, triangle are going to be 180 degrees. For a quadrilateral, it's going to be 360 degrees. So now before we, um, you know, move forward, let's go ahead and define what a quadrilateral is, okay? So what is a quadrilateral? That's another little pop question. Well, it's a polygon, right? And it's made up of four side, okay? So four, it's a four-sided polygon, okay? So... That's another little kind of pop quiz here for you. But let's go ahead and just focus on this problem. This is a very typical problem um, with quadrilaterals. Same thing with uh, triangles. If this was a triangle, it's just fine. It's solving for the missing angle, okay? All right, now that I told you that uh, the sum of these angles is 360 degrees, if that's a, a kind of the hint that kind of unlocked your memory, maybe now you want to go and pause the video before I actually do it. But let's go ahead and solve the problem. Okay, so it's going to be, if the sum of uh, the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees, that means when I add this angle plus this angle plus this angle and this angle, I'm going to get 360. So let's go ahead and do that now. It's going to be 2x plus uh, 70 degrees plus 70 degrees plus 80 degrees. Those are my four angles. And that's going to be equal to 360 degrees. Now, to be more precise, I might want to go ahead and put like a little degree in there just to represent, to indicate that this is an angle. But uh, that's what we have right now. Okay. Now, uh, I would suggest that any time in this video that you want to pause it, uh, pause it, and just try to solve it, then you, you know you should. Okay. So here is a basic algebra equation. Go ahead and, and make sure you can solve this. Okay. As you've already discovered. There's a good amount of algebra in geometry. But let's go ahead and proceed and solve this. So I'm going to have 2x, 70 and 70 is going to be what? 140 degrees plus 80 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. 
So 140, let's go ahead and do this over here, uh, plus 80 is going to give me what? This is 12. That's going to be 220 degrees. So I have 2x plus 220 degrees is equal to 360 degrees. And now what do I have to do? Well, I'm going to have to subtract 220 from both sides of the equation. So 220 degrees here, 220 degrees here. So I'm going to have 2x is equal to 360 minus our 220. Just take our time. Make sure we don't make any errors here. That's 40, so that's 140 degrees. Okay, so we're almost there, right? So what is the value of x? Well, now I have to divide both sides of the equation by 2. So x is, in fact, 70 degrees, okay? But when you look at that, we know what x is equal to 70 degrees. But if you look at this figure, okay, this looks like an obtuse angle. Okay, no, So x is 70 degrees, but this angle here is 140 degrees. So got to be very careful. I kind of asked you, what is this angle, okay? Uh, what's the missing angle here? Um, oftentimes, students will say, oh, 70 degrees, because they'll solve the equation, but they're not thinking about, you know, what that represents. Okay, that's... Uh, twice that value is this uh, is the, um, the angle okay so that's that obtuse angle of 140 degrees okay so very very typical common type of problem in geometry there's all different types of flavors of this problem you know quadrilaterals triangles so um, hopefully this is you know familiar uh, to you and you've done a lot of these uh, in your course definitely expect these type of problems on the Virginia SOL geometry um, exam. So if you got it right, excellent. If you didn't get it right, if you didn't get it right, you know, don't panic, you know, you, you know, take some action. And by the way, even if you did get this right, there's still so many other topics in geometry uh, that you need to review, you know, uh, for this uh, particular exam. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. So um, at the time of this video, I've been on YouTube for a good 12 years, and uh, I literally have probably hundreds of uh, videos on my channel currently that can help you out with the Virginia SOL geometry uh, exam. But I'm posting uh, stuff all the time, so hopefully you'll consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. And leave me some feedback. What do you think of geometry? Um, did you hate it? <laughs> did you hate it because you had to do proofs and you, you there was a lot of postulates and theorems? That's a kind of common response. Or maybe you, you really loved it, okay? Um, it's, you know, student, everyone's different. Okay. And even if people like math, let's say they enjoyed, let's say you enjoyed algebra. Um, oftentimes people were like, well, I didn't really like geometry, but I liked algebra. But, um, anyways, any feedback would be good feedback. So let me know your thoughts on that. And, and again, I'm going to leave a link to my Virginia, uh, SOL geometry, uh, test prep course, extremely comprehensive. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video. Um, will can definitely help you out prepare uh, for this exam. But I like to always emphasize uh, um, to you out there that always start with what your teacher is offering. Start, you know, pay attention to your teacher first. Um, use their guidance. Get as much help as you can from them. But if you need something supplemental beyond, you know, uh, you know what you're learning in class, then a course like mine could definitely benefit you. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your high school career. You know, even if you don't like math or you're not planning to go to college, still take it seriously because you never know. Uh, oftentimes we change our mind in life and you're like, I'm not going to go to college. I just want to get through and just forget this stuff. Then a few years later, you're like, you know what? I actually want to go to college and I need to remember this stuff. <laughs> so take it seriously. This is an important test. But with that being said, I definitely uh, thank you for your time. And have a great day.